Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on solving the uh, x from uh, quadratic equations. And what we've got here is is mainly an IGCSE type question, and also I think it's suitable for a higher tier GCSE mathematics and the earlier stages of AS level mathematics. Right, we want to solve x to the power four minus five. 5x squared plus 6 equal to 0. We want to find so for x there. If we then replace x to the power 4 with x squared all squared and then minus 5x squared plus 6 is equal to 0 because x squared all squared is the same as x to the power 2 times 2 which is 4 there. I got by law this is or you could say that x squared times x squared if you add indices you end 4, 2 plus 2 will give you 4. So x squared to the power, x squared all squared is the same as x to the power 4 there. So now if we replace uh, x squared with u, we then have uh, u squared minus 5u plus 6 as we go there. That's replaced there and that was replaced there. We can now factorize this one here. So that then becomes u minus 2 into u minus 3 is equal to 0. And if you check, Minus 2 times minus 3 gives us plus 6. Minus 2 times u goes minus 2u. Minus 3 times u goes minus 3u. So minus 2u minus 3u give us minus 5u. So we're right. And if we then equate, uh, add up this can be 0. So add up u minus 2 is 0 or u minus, minus 3 is 0. So u minus 2 is equal to 0, which then means that u is equal to 2. Now, meanwhile, do not forget that u is x squared. So now x squared is equal to 2 and x is plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay, now for u minus 3 is equal to 0 there, but u minus 3 is equal to 0, which means u is equal to 3. Uh, again, don't forget u is the same as x squared, so x squared is equal to 3. And taking square root of both sides, we have that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. hope that makes sense. Now for the second exercise, again we have that x to the power 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 5. If you take 4x squared uh, plus 5 across the left hand side, the signs will change so that becomes minus 4x squared and minus 5 is equal to 0. Again as before, x to the power 4 is the same as x squared all squared. So we're going to have x squared all squared minus 4x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. And again, if we now replace our uh, x squared with u, we end up with uh, u squared minus 4u minus 5 is equal to 0. So now if we factorize, we get that u minus 5 into u plus 1 is equal to 0. So if we equate u minus 5 equal to 0, we have that u minus 5 is 0, which means uh, u is equal to 5, and therefore x squared is equal to, sorry, x squared is equal to 5. If we then take square root of both sides, we have that x is equal to plus or minus root 5. Now, how about this one here? Now, u plus 1 is equal to 0, so u is equal to uh, minus 1. If we then replace uh, u with x squared, replace by s squared, we then have that x squared is equal to minus 1. So taking the square root of both sides, we have that x is equal to the square root of minus 1. And therefore, this will not give us any solution. So the only answer is, is x equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 is the only answer, the valid answer there. I hope all that made some sense. Uh, please, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye now.